Hey guys. <coughs> Sarah here. Lucy's <coughs> here. Everyone's here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing our Ipsy versus Ipsy for November 2018. If you did not know, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription. You get five uh, sample to sometimes full-sized beauty products catered to your beauty profile. And then you also earn points to redeem in their shop to get free products. So um, I have one profile, which is my normal profile, which is more neutral, makeup, um, comfortable makeup, things like that. The other profile is more adventurous, more bold sort of makeup. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So first we will open up my normal bag. Feels lighter than the other bag. So here's the bag this month. So it's just a little uh, purple bag with black hearts. It's like a faux leather kind of material. So let's see, the theme for this month is uh, Friendsgiving. So there's the little card right there. Okay, so the first thing I am pulling out is from Skin Iceland. It is a uh, brightening eye serum with Arctic peptides. I want to say this brand is cruelty free, but I am not 100% sure. As always, I will always put that information down below if you're interested in knowing that. There's what the packaging looks like. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just feel what it feels like. So it is like a very gel, almost sort of serum kind of thing like they said. So it has a strong scent, not a terrible scent, but not my favorite scent. It is a little sticky, which most eye serums are a little sticky. So there's that. I'm excited to try that out. I'm always looking for a good under eye brightening thing since I am a little older, I have uh, darker circles and things like that. Oh, awesome. So the next thing I'm pulling out is from Tarte. It is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, which I think I have two or three of these now. I really like their blushes. Uh, this one's in the shade Quirky. And I'm, I wanna say this is almost full size, but I'm not sure. Okay, so here's what the color looks like. It's just like a pinky uh, peach sort of color. I'll go ahead do, uh, real quick and do a swatch with this. It's very, very light. I might have to uh, double up on it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on my hand. There it is on my hand. It's very, very light. Uh, so that's cool. I definitely am excited to try that out on the skin. Looks pretty nice. Okay, so let's see what I have next. The next thing I have is from extraordinary oh it's from Seate London which I am fairly certain is cruelty free uh, tart is cruelty free if you did not know that uh, this is a translucent powder it is like the tiniest little uh, pot right here I'm not gonna test this out but it does it's just like a loose powder which I'm not really into I prefer more of a pressed powder honestly um, but I will try this out see how it goes Okay, let's see what I have next. So it looks like I have two more things. The next one is from Lock Color. It is the Waterproof Pencil Eyeliner in Pearl Black. So it's got the little thing on the bottom here that you can uh, use to push it up. You don't have to sharpen it. Okay, so this is a black liner and it has glitter in it. So if you are into that, not sure if this is gonna pick up on the glitter, but it's probably not something I would wear every day, but it'd probably be good for like the evening. So excited to try this out. I'm not sure if this brand is cruelty free. I've actually never heard of this brand, so we will see. Okay, one more thing. So this is from Bogachis, which I feel like I say that wrong every time I say it. Um, it is an eye shader. It's a little tiny pencil, or sorry, it's a little tiny brush. I like these little brushes for like doing the under eye, uh, for like smudging out shadows down there. So excited to have that. Uh, but yeah, that's everything for my normal bag. So let's see. Overall, it's pretty basic sort of makeup, which I think fits the profile pretty well. So let's see what we have in the adventurous bag. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing right on the outside is 
um, two face masks, uh, Glam and Glow and Up in the Clouds. These are from Timeless Beauty Bar. It says it is cruelty free, so that's cool. It feels like they're just uh, standard sheet masks. Um, this one is Radiance Boosting Even Skin Tone and Energizing. That's the Glam and Glow. And then the Up in the Clouds, Intensely Hydrating, Rejuvenating, Plumping, Nourishing. So I always like doing a sheet mask, so I will definitely try these out. Okay, let's see. The bag is the same. Let's see what we have inside. So the first thing I'm pulling out is from NYX. It is a velvet matte lipstick in the shade Volcano. NYX is cruelty free, so I will go ahead and swatch this. Just looking at it, it looks like a, like a red color, like a deep red. Let's see. So there it is. Okay, so I will go ahead and swatch it. Oh, I really like the color. So it's like a very nice cream lipstick. I definitely like that color for this time of year. So I will, will for sure play around with that. Okay, let's see what I have next. Oh, my first ever duplicate since doing this. I've never gotten any duplicates since doing uh, Ipsy versus Ipsy, which has only been a couple months now, but I got another Ciate London translucent powder. So I will just go ahead and put that in a giveaway or give it to a friend. It is a very, very small sample. So let's see. Okay. I see another duplicate too. So let's just go ahead and get that out of the way. So I got another, uh, Tarte blush in the same shade quirky. So I will also be giving this away to a friend or into a giveaway. I haven't decided yet, but not mad about it. I really do like Tarte blushes. So, okay. So I got one more thing and this is from Jelly Pong Pong, which I know is cruelty free. It says right here on the side it is. Um, let's see what this is. Cosmic Light Multifunctional Pigments. Hmm, not sure what this is. So I think it's just a loose pigment if I'm getting this right. Okay, well that literally took me 80 years to get the safety seal off. <laughs> let's see. Um, <clears throat> let me get that brush. I will do a little swatch of it. I'm not a hugely into uh, loose pigments. This is kind of cute. So it's glittery, it's blue. Let me see, the color is called Pulsar. Oh, it's, it's like a glitter, like a gl loose glitter almost. So if you can see that blue there, I'm not sure if the glitter is gonna pick up, but very, very cool. I wish it was a different color. Blue is not my favorite thing to wear in my eyes, but maybe I can surprise myself and come up with a cool look for this. So uh, I definitely think this fits the profile pretty well. I think both bags were pretty good about fitting the profile. Um, the lipstick isn't super bold colored, but that was that was the only thing. I think the blush, I think blush is pretty much, like you can't really go that crazy with blush, can you? I mean, I guess you probably can. Um, but yeah, so overall I think the bags fit the profiles pretty well. Um, kind of bummed that I got some duplicates, but I knew it was probably bound to happen sooner or later, so it finally did happen. But yeah, overall, not, not mad. I like both the bags a lot. So that's all I have for this video today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this from me, more unboxings, more, you know, dogs dozing off in the background. I don't even know, know if you can see them. I think they're... There's one. <laughs> um, if you want to see more of them, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.